What's going on guys, welcome to the video. So it's eight o'clock in the morning. We play Michigan Stars tonight at 7 p.m. at home. Tonight's game is not a regular season game, it's an Open Cup game, so we're in the third round of the Open Cup. Playing against Michigan Stars. Michigan Stars is a NISA team, so it's a different league. Um, but yeah, just a cup game, should be really fun. Hopefully we win it and advance on the fourth round. Open Cup's really fun as you progress further and further into it. So uh, I've had a couple good runs in my career and hopefully this is uh, this is the start of one of them. Okay, you wanna read again? Okay, let's pop up. Scarlett, you wanna make some coffee? So it's been like a dream start for us at Detroit City FC. We've played four games so far in the league and uh, we've gotten four wins. So we're 4-0, and which has been amazing. I've never started off a season like this. We've had some really good games, some come from behind victories. So it's just been, it's been really fun, really enjoyable. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to get too high on the highs, especially too early on. It's only four games in the season of a 34 game season. So it's like a balance of enjoying it and celebrating the wins and, and being happy and all this kind of stuff. But at the same time, realizing that nothing has been accomplished yet. We still have a long ways to go and it's uh, a long road ahead of us. But it's been very, very nice um, enjoying these wins. I've been trying to soak it up, especially after the last two years, which have been, to be honest, very difficult years for me on the field. Um, I'm just really enjoying celebrating wins with the guys and really enjoying training and all the little drills and all the positive vibes that you get in training after a big win. And off the field as well, we've been here um, now for like three months and obviously it was a tough transition because it's really fast, you have to move, you have to do all this stuff, but I think we're really, really happy. Me, me, Scarlett and I are really happy in where we're at in Detroit right now and our house is awesome, we love the location. So it's been, uh, it's been really good. And the weather's been improving, so that's been very, very helpful. So things are good. All right, Amy went hard for breakfast. She, uh, she killed. No, I, this is what I do every day. <laughs> yeah, every, every single day. Not just for game days, not just for special breakfast. You have the same thing, punk. But we got, uh, we got some English muffin with some guacamole. Got some mushrooms and spinach, some eggs. And? And onion shallot. Shallots, wow. My favorite type of onion. Wow. You got three eggs and some strawberries. Oh, and bacon as well. Damn. Thanks, Mimi. Appreciate it. I just have to do dishes for the next like four hours, <laughs> no. but it's worth it. Huh? She hasn't had strawberries in forever. I know. Look at her. <laughs> She's putting like five in her. <laughs> As you guys saw this morning, Scarlett's trying to make some putts on my uh, my new putting green that I got a while ago, but I brought it back out from storage because once we finally moved in and everything, but just working on my putting. One, because I was really inspired by the Masters, but also this team, Detroit City, there's like nine, 10 guys that all love golfing. And I have this routine. I basically go from two feet, four feet, six feet, then eight feet and try to make three putts in a row on the big cup. Then once I do that, I go to the small cup and do the same exact thing. So I'll show you that but uh, I've been really working and trying to improve so I don't go embarrass myself when I go play with Ben Morris who like hits even par through 18 or something, but. So if you guys have been following my videos for a while, you'll probably remember some of the off-season training videos in, back in Portland with Zane Provenzano, with Chase Boone, with Rubio Rubin, Angelo Calfo, and those training sessions and those group of guys were some of my favorite times and favorite people to, uh, to work with just because they were amazing people, a really fun environment, but they also worked really hard. And I felt like those sessions and those trainings and those, those spurts of off season are some of the, the most I've improved in such a short period of time. Um, and I've been talking with them and they've started something called ProView Soccer, which I wanna share with you guys and talk about, but this is in no way a sponsorship. This video is not sponsored, it's not a promotion. I'm not getting paid a set for this. I just really like what they've started and what they've created. And I think that 
a lot of you guys could benefit from it as well. Basically what they've started is ProView Soccer and it's an online interactive community of professional players that the goal is to mentor future professional, future collegiate, future semi-pro players. If you join ProView Soccer and you join this community, you basically get real-time interactive access to these pros. You can ask questions, you can talk to, you can hang out with, you can joke around with current professional players. And currently the pros in this group are Rubio Rubin, who has played all over the world at the highest levels, amazing player. You have Chase Boone, who's playing for Monterey Bay FC. You have Alex Lara, who is also playing for Monterey Bay FC. You have Angelo Calfa, who's playing over in Australia, but he's also played Nisa here in America. And then you have Zane Provenzano, who's played over in England, and he's also been the strength and conditioning coach at Monterey Bay FC. So you have a whole great group of pros who I personally know all of them. I don't know Alex, but I've played against Alex a few times but you have this great group of pros that you can come in, talk to, ask questions and learn from. For me, the big, the big selling point for ProView Soccer is just like, I would have killed for this from like an early age kid at 12, 13, 14, really learning the game and, and developing love for the game, just having a chance to talk to pros would have been amazing. But as well as up to like 18, 19, 20, 21, when I'm like trying to break into the collegiate game, the semi-pro game, the professional game, there's so many times in my life where I just didn't really know what I was doing and I didn't know about my training and it would have been so nice to be like, hey, am I wording this email right before I send it to this pro coach? Or look at my workout plan. How does this look like? Or this is what I'm doing with my partner out of the field. I'm training. This is what we're doing. Does that look good? Is there, do I need to add anything to this? Am I going to be improving from this? All those type of things I would have killed for to get the advice from, from a pro. And I think this ProView soccer community is just something that I would have loved as a kid. So anyway, again, I'm not being paid a cent for this. I just really think this is a great idea. I love what these guys are doing and uh, I wanted to share it with all of you guys. Uh, I did a little Zoom call with Chase and with Zane. Um, I'm gonna put the unlisted video link in the description if you guys wanna watch it. It's like 30, 40 minutes or so. Um, but we just sit down and talk about ProView, about how it's going, about their thoughts on it, about my thoughts on it, and just how, um, it's been going so far. So if you guys want to watch that, will be in the description, as well as all the links to ProView Soccer, their website, their Instagram, their social media pages, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, just love it. And uh, I really think that's a, a cool opportunity for a lot of players. in the afternoon right now I'm having my lunch um, I've talked about this a lot about how I do my meals but on game days for me if it's like a 7 p.m. kickoff my favorite thing to do is do a really big breakfast like you saw tons of food get really full and then for lunch have a, a medium-sized lunch around two so about like five hours before kickoff and then about three hours before kickoff have a small snack if I'm still a little hungry so when I'm like going towards the game I don't want to be full at all I don't want to be hungry. I just want to be feeling okay. So then by kickoff, I feel light, but I'm not hungry. And that's, I found that having that big breakfast, medium lunch, small snack is the best way to really not have that much variables and, and, and be able to feel like that more often than not by kickoff. Um, here's lunch though. I uh, just reheated up some rice and uh, some chicken, I think, from last night. Mimi made this last night really, really good with some oranges, big glass of water, Scarly Warley's over there. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's got her chicken nuggets and uh, some corn and some oranges. I think Mimi is on her way back from shopping right now, so she should be back in probably like 20 minutes, and then we'll go on a little walk. So it's been absolutely beautiful weather in Michigan. It's been like 65, 70 degrees the last few days. Uh, I'm a little worried because people are saying, don't get your hopes up. There might be a, a one more cold spell, maybe even some snow. But hopefully, what, you want down? Hopefully it stays like this for the uh, the rest of the summer and the rest of the spring. But we're just doing like a little 15, 20 minute loop right now around our house. And uh, just getting some sun, walking around. She's got her new shoes. <laughs> her first jellies. And then we'll go home, watch some Champions League, and uh, then I just get ready for the game. Anywhere will do. 
this desperate situation. Yeah, it's almost four o'clock. Uh, I'll probably start getting ready here in about 20 minutes. Uh, make a little cup of coffee, have that. And then it's just kind of like shower, freshen up, put on my game day fit, which is always, I'm always top contender. Every team I go, best fit of the, uh, of the match day. And then just pretty much just wait around until I'm ready to go. This is like right around where I start to get a little bit of the pre-match anxiety, a little bit of the butterflies and everything. Um, but it's a good feeling. It just means I'm excited to play. That's what I just keep on telling myself. I'm just excited and I'm ready to go. Scarlett, you got some butterflies too? He wants apple. <laughs> you want more apple? Just watching the final minutes of this Champions League game before I leave. Carlos Saldana, the uh, goalkeeper, is going to be picking me up because he lives like five minutes away. And we only have one car and I want Scarlett and Mimi to have that car just in case they need to leave early for Scarlett's bedtime. So he's going to swing by here any minute. I'm all ready, just waiting for the text. And then, uh, then I'll head out. I'm starting this game at right back. It's going to be my first start for Detroit City um, this season, besides preseason games, which don't really count. Uh, so really, really pumped. Hoping to have a good performance, hoping to have a good win. Move on to the next round of uh, Open Cup. Driving in the field right now with Carlitos. <laughs> Mamo. Carlos, how you feeling? Good, good, man. Ready? Yeah, you ready for today? Of course. First Open Cup game. You already know how that rolls. Anything can happen, but yeah. put that work in. And you're part with the uh, the part of the Sacramento team that had that awesome run. Yeah, uh, honestly, amazing to be a part of. And like I said, anything can happen on these Open Cup nights. And you know, just gotta go in with the right mentality and have a business. Kevin Vicar in charge of this one, blows the whistle, and away we go. Third round action here in the 109th edition of the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. Given away out of the back. Jope, not wide. That's Sheldon. Good service from Sheldon. The header's just wide. A very difficult time just getting their spacing right. Stripling and Maduque all over the space. And then you leave Real Estate on the wide areas. Really well done from Sheldon to create a space. And it's all about a movement from number nine. Dada. Dada. Matthews has some space. Matthews wide for Espeleta. Espeleta has a hit. It's saved by Mukruva. Right side or more centrally located. Now he's drifted out to the left side. We've had some switches within the game. Morris started left. Now he's right. Espeleta started right. Now he's left. Sheldon's been consistent. And here he is again at the end line. Sheldon drives it across. The volley. Espeleta saved by Mukruva. Still alive now. Ipan. Hi. <laughs> she looks so confused. <laughs> Pick out a corner, that's 1-0. Straight at McGruva, easy save once again. Matthews barrels through, Matthews saved by McGruva once again! And it's Harrison Offal, the 37-year-old longtime MLS veteran who had some trouble with that one as Matthews was closing in. Murphy, Matthews, Sheldon. To the end line. Put in front for Matthews, deflected in front, and Mukruva kept it out. Touch, slowed it down just enough for Mukruva, and we're still scoreless. Remorse is just so direct in his movement, just watch his hips. As he squares up his individual marker, he knows exactly where he wants to go. It's the left foot of Villanueva, and it's over the bar. Half the stadium thought it went in. Touch. That was to bring it down by Olsen, plays it toward that back post, and Saldana has it. 
That was a tricky one. It could have gone in on its own if Saldana ended up playing the runner coming across his face instead. Faces that he picks up between lines, right foot, left foot. Like you said, he does have that quality still in him to make a difference. Nice move. Job dummies it through for Rodriguez. Overlap coming from Villanueva now. Ali Coot with it. Villanueva. Coot. That's inside. Coot goes for goal. Coot denied by Mokrova. Levi's. Here's Merrim. Whatever he's still got left in his tank. Cut off instead. Played through. It's Rodriguez. It's the moment they've waited 93 minutes for. Detroit City on top. Maxi Rodriguez does it again. Carroll, excuse me, Stephen Carroll, head up the whole time. Great ball down the middle of the field. There's no rotation, no coverage whatsoever from the Michigan Stars. Maxi Rodriguez says, thank you very much. Let this ball come over my right shoulder, open up my hips, and calmly just bend it around. Detroit City FC through to the round of 32 in the 2024 Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. What did the cow say? Look, from a trip to Mars through skies unknown, in a rocket ship made of glass and stone. So, uh, sloppy game. Very sloppy game, emotional game, um, but we, we got the win. We're moving on, fourth round of the Open Cup, which is good. Little sketchy there at times. I was a little worried it was going to go into overtime if my legs were cooked, but um, happy with the win. I mean, that's at the end of the day, that's what matters. We're moving on. Um, I was very happy with my performance overall. Uh, Thought I did well, whipped in a lot of crosses. I thought I defended pretty well. I played like the full game, I didn't come out. And that was like, you know, that was my first start of the season. So uh, I was a little worried to see how my legs were gonna handle that, but uh, it felt great, legs felt great. I'm gonna definitely be very, very sore tomorrow. I can already feel my hip flexors and hamstrings, um, but that's fine. No, nothing, nothing serious at all. So really, really happy with that. Happy to get 90 in, happy to get First Open Cup game of the season, one and done. Um, yeah, stoked about that. I'll show you the food that we got afterwards um, somewhere around here. I'm gonna eat that, I'm gonna decompress a little bit because you're on such a high after the game. Like I'm just wired right now. Um, so I'm gonna relax a little bit, watch some YouTube videos, maybe watch some Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I don't know what, what I'll do, but I need to take like an hour or so and, and come down from the, the high stim environment that you're in the game. And I always do this after games. It's, it's hard for me to fall asleep because you're just so alert and, and zoned in. Um, like right now, I feel like I could <laughs> run a marathon. <laughs> Probably not, but I feel just wired. So Mimi's going up. She's putting Scarlett down for you know feeding her right now and then going to put her down for the, uh, for the night and then she's going to go to bed, but I'll probably be up for another hour, hour and a half just because I can't sleep. Here's dinner. Um, we got some baked beans with some chickpeas it looked like, some black beans as well, some chicken, kind of like a fajita mix, and then some rice as well, lots of veggies in there. So um, kind of like some Mexican food, it's gonna be good. I got a water, I'm gonna fill this back up, throw in the liquid IV, tons of electrolytes, get that back in. I got a protein shake for some extra protein, and the supporters made some cookies for us after the game. So thank you so much to, uh, to 
the people that handed us these. I got some brownies as well, but that is gonna be dinner. I'm gonna eat this right now, and then I'm gonna chill and decompress for a bit. So it's like 11.30 at night. I'm starting to finally feel like calm down now. Um, I've just been watching YouTube videos and I talked to my dad for a while on the phone. I usually always talk to my dad after the games just to kind of go over it and go over how I played. You know, it always constructive criticism on the plays that he thinks I should have done better. But uh, yeah, he had really good words to say about that game. So I'm happy about that. I really appreciate all you guys hopping in, watching, liking, subscribing, all that kind of stuff. It means a lot. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And again, go check out ProView. Go check out the, the podcast I did with uh, Zane and Chase if you guys are interested in that. Um, I think it could be a really cool uh, program they got going on. And highly recommend those guys just as people, as players. So be great people to learn from, chat to, and, and do all that kind of stuff. But yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.